Going into the Olympic trials, I actually had been more confident than I'd ever been in my life. Going into it, I actually um, told my dad, like, hey, you have to go get a passport. <laughs> Paris is in Europe and <laughs> we're going. I'm Dakota Lindworm. I am a 2024 Olympian in the marathon. I am a professional runner for Puma and Minnesota Distance Elite. I was pretty good at the mile in gym class. I would beat the boys typically, so I thought, oh, I, I should go out for track. I'll, I'll do well there. And it turns out I, I wasn't uh, naturally talented at running. I took last a lot. As I you know, graduated high school and went into college, I immediately went to the 5 and the 10K. So the natural transition after college was to move to the marathon. She came out of college, um, you know, had a successful career as a D2 runner, but not like at the star level where, you know, everybody thought she was going to like be a professional runner. I always say, I am, I mean this with the most kindness to myself, that I am just stupid enough to believe I can do anything. I am just really willing to work hard. My parents set incredible examples. Anything they did, they were going to do to the best of their abilities, and that's just been ingrained in me. I just told her to, you know, come on out and start training with us and see how things go. And uh, pretty early on, you could tell she had a real ability for, like, the longer distances. If I continue on this path of working really hard, I can, I can get pretty far. My training had just gone better than it ever had, and I figured, just looking at my numbers, I didn't think anybody was going to be training much better than I was. I just had that feeling in my heart, my soul, that I could make the team. It's everything you've been working for for years and years and years, and all of a sudden one day it comes true, and it's, it's the most magical feeling on the planet. Well, there's almost no words to put to it. Data plays a really huge role in our training and uh, tells me a lot about how the athlete is responding to the training. We've been lucky enough to be able to do testing at Human Powered Health. For me, it was giving us confidence that, yeah, we can continue to push the envelope. It's been hugely important to have that data, looking at the whole picture uh, and how it's changing over time. The data I got from HPH, number one, was such a confidence booster because, you know, I'd like to believe that I, I've got a good VO2 max and it, to see it on paper, knowing like, oh, this is an elite level, it, VO2 max is pretty cool and to say like, I okay, my body is built for this and I've got it in me. And then it was really nice to have like, okay, this is my LT pace. Because if you're working too hard in practice, you're working the wrong system. And I think it's been really a really good like point to look at. And it's always nice to see the numbers getting faster on paper too. I've built a lot of confidence. You know, knowledge is power. It's gonna make you better. Kind of the key performance testing metrics that we look at are lactate threshold, their speed at lactate threshold, and heart rate at lactate threshold. Yeah, we have a few months still to prepare and train for the, for the Paris Olympics, so we really want to do a lot of specific work, uh, both on uphill and downhill running, uh, to prepare for that. When you're going to the Olympics, there's one goal. It's to take home a medal, right? I've, I've got dreams of the medal being around my neck, for sure. I'm just going to keep on being me, keep on having fun out there, and, you know, trusting Chris Lundstrom's training and try to get better, but not do anything crazy. There's no reason to take this seriously. We're just out here having fun. True, True health, health is, is self-made. Self -made.